Hi guys, hope you're well. As you can see this morning, just dropped the kids off at school and my first quote of the day would be, always be ready. You know what, I've had the camera bag and everything in the back of the car because I was going to go out this afternoon and uh, got up this morning, took the kids to school and just arrived at Lytham now and this is Celestial Dawn. And um, wow, wow, it just looks wonderful. The tide's on its way in, there's no wind. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more water around the boat. Um, but at the moment, what I'm absolutely hoping for is the sun's going to come out in a second with this fog. Um, I'm going to try and go all Melvin-esque, um or I got a fog bow a couple of years ago with, with the twins underneath it, but I'm going to try and get... It'd be nice if we get a fog bow over that, wouldn't it, to be fair, but once the sun comes out, then you start to see these fog bows appear, so um, what I'm going to do is just going to set up the camera, just walk round. Um, it's, you can't, it's proper pea super out there, it looks absolutely amazing. I just thought I'd just try and have a bit of a different view, so I'll leave the camera rolling, get myself set up and take a few shots. I'm not too sure how they're going to turn out, um, what the results are going to be look like, it's just going to be something different. Um, the fur obviously the fur with fog, the further you get away, so if I walk down that way about 100 metres, the boat will kind of disappear and you just see the mass, it'll look quite ghostly, you know, so uh, just going to try a few things and see how we get. actually done at the moment is I've actually come in the actual water and what I was saying is at the moment I'm not too sure if you can see this or not but we've actually got a fog bow over the boat I think it's just a slight fog bow there um, so I'm not too sure if it's going to pick up on the camera but as the sun comes out 
Um, I'm going to just go back a little bit further. Um, I've just turned the camera, I don't know if you can see this now, so I'm going to just try and do this really quickly, but if I just turn the camera, um, I'm not too sure if it's picking up or not because I can't see the screen, but I'll turn the exposure down, but just near that hut over there, there is actually a fog bowl, um, so just a slight fog bowl, just a kind of rainbow near the, near the shed over there, so just in this corner here, you can just see it going arcing over, but well, I'm going to get set up now and try to take another shot. So as you can see, the tide's come in just that little bit more and it's, I'm kind of getting reflections. I'm actually studying the sea at the moment, uh, in the River Ribble at the moment. And um, yeah, it's making a lovely photo, to be honest. Um, I'm not too sure if you can just see where my finger is here. We've got, if I wait a minute, because I've just been moving about, but you can just see the reflections now. Um, you've got no horizon, which is quite good. I can never remove those. Um, I'll just slightly turn the camera around a little bit. Um, I think that makes a nice shot. I'm just kind of like this grass here leads you up into the boat. Um, just lots of wonderful shots. And um, what I'm going to do at the end of the video is post all the images I take. I'm not going to take too many today, to be honest. I'm just quite enjoying. Um, I'm hoping the sun will come out a little bit more, just because there was a faint fog ball above it, but really it wasn't. It needs to, the sun needs to be really right out. Um, just before the fog disappears, I think that's when it normally happens. Um, so I'm going to take a few more shots and uh, yeah, just enjoy myself. So guys, kind of just like that, the um, the fog has gone. Um, yeah, and by now you would have seen some awesome drone footage of the fog. Um, so I'm going to grab a few more shots, just some simple, nice, beautiful shots, and then um, walk back to the car. I think. Um, yeah. Wow, that was a bit of a bit of a mad one, to be fair. There's a couple of sailboats out that are looking quite nice. If I just spin the camera around. Um, yeah, I've just spun the camera around, and as you can just about see, I'm not too sure if you can see there very well, but there's two sailboats just coming down the Ribble. They must have been in all the mist this morning, and it's clear now, and it's beautiful. It's uh, it make a lovely photo. I'm recording at the moment with the um, 24 to 70, so I'm at 70 mil. I'm recording a video, so um, this is still a little bit further away. So when they come a bit nearer, I might try and take a shot and just see how it looks. To be fair, that looks quite nice, just on the back of the video, to be honest. But yeah, just a wonderful place to be in the morning. Right, this is about the fifth time I've tried to do this. I'm going to call, I'm going to call the vlog an end now. Um, I'll just, as geese going past, there was loads of birds. You can see them circling now. I think that's a buzzard or something looking at me for dinner. Not too sure if you can see that or not. Wow, look at that. See? Can you see that? Right guys, 
I'm going to call the vlog an end now. I've just tried to end this vlog about four times, but there's a buzzard gone past. There's loads of geese gone past. I'm looking that way now, and there's more mist coming back over the windmill, which looks beautiful. Um, there's boats going past. Um, but as you can see there where the tide is, I think it's just about high tide nearly now. Um, it looks beautiful, but there's just nothing going on behind the boat. Um, I've took a few shots. I'm going to post all the images in a second. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, yeah. Um, what, a, what a glorious morning. Um, it's been fun to be fair. Um, I just thought I'd try and capture this to be honest. I, I was rushing around like a headless chicken. I had a bit of a sweat on at first because you have to put the tripod down and walk miles and walk back then walk back and yeah. But I thoroughly enjoyed it so I've had a, um, a bit of exercise this morning. So until next time, take care.